What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, today we're talking about my jailbreak, Blizzard jailbreak, which will receive some important updates and also received already some important updates. This video is brought to you by iMobi and their software any fix. It allows you to repair your system and of course your iOS, your iPad, your iPod Touch, Apple TV and of course even iTunes errors that are hard to repair. It has multiple repair modules that you can try and of course you can even upgrade, downgrade iOS, reset the device and stuff like that. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know I've been working on this jailbreak for some time now and it's actually a fully open source jailbreak. The website is already available though the uh, first beta will come soon and this is going to be the official website though the domain name will probably get changed so it will likely be a different address in here but anyways the jailbreak as you probably know it is completely open source and it's currently available for the iOS 11 up to 13.5 in development but we will support iOS 13.6.1, 13.6 and even 13.5.1 in the future. When will that support be available? Well when we get a DFP0 kernel exploit or a kernel exploit that is able to get us the uh, actual functions that we need or a similar style of kernel exploit. Now you probably remember that this developer in here posted quote iOS 13.6.1 iPhone 11 Pro Max using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of the TFP0 method I'll make it public when it's appropriate hashtag jailbreak and in a video he posted in here he shows how he basically jailbreaks 13.6.1 on an A13 device and this is actually legit so if this gets released and we know that this is going to be released I will update it of course on the blizzard jailbreak and this will support iOS 13.6.1 and 13.6 as well. But right now we do not have that exploit for the moment so it will only support 13.5 at best. But of course it will be updated. So as I said this is a fully open source jailbreak. You can download the whole code for it here on GitHub and this means that you can actually analyze the whole content of the jailbreak and you can see exactly what I'm doing and what it contains and stuff like that, how we handle things and whatever. So everything is transparent for you and you know exactly what you're running on your device and also so if you want to modify it and to add functions to it or to change something you can definitely do so. I think this is going to be the only jailbreak that is fully open source for 13. So this is actually interesting. We also changed the uh, colors because some people were complaining it looks too similar to the uh, Chimera and of course to the Odyssey. So now it has a different color scheme. It looks like this so it's no longer looking like any jailbreak tool that exists. So of course I also changed the uh, design but let me actually show you the design in depth. This jailbreak will soon be available as the first beta here on the website and as I said it's made for the people who want to be able to modify their jailbreak. It comes with Zebra by default and with either the Procursus or the Alucubratus bootstrap. You have to choose between them and you can switch between them as you wish. Of course if you want to install other package managers it's also possible but by default it comes with Zebra. Let me actually demonstrate it to you. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.